Hello designers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi. I am a fashion designer based in London. In my channel, I do pattern making and sewing tutorial for women's wear and swimwear. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this color block triangle bikini top. And on my next video, I'll show you how to make the bottoms. The sewing pattern is available to download in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, designers. Now, let's get started. You will need the following tool and material. Cut two pieces of your front lining and make sure they are mirror facing each other. Now we're going to cut our main piece, which is the color block piece. So what I did the designers to make easier for you guys, I label them one, which is gonna be the top one, the middle one is gonna be panel two, and the bottom one is gonna be panel three. So cut two of each. The best thing about this uh, color block triangle bikini top is that designers, we can use all these scraps, fabrics we have laid around everywhere. I don't know about you designers, but I do have it probably two boxes of it. That's one of the reasons I wanted to create this pattern so that way you can use this scraps fabric and then make those color block triangle bikini top because you basically just need a very tiny little piece of fabric. Like this one, it's so small and then we're able to cut the top piece. And the best thing is that you can make this for your friend, you can even sell this color block triangle bikini top, like 20 pounds, 20 dollars. So at least you're going to make money from your scrap fabric. So you should have all these pieces. Now cut your neck stripe, so you need two, and then you need your underbust stripe as well. You will need two neck stripes and one for your underbust strings. In the bottle and the middle panel right side together. And we're going to sew around there. Do the same for the other side. We're going to sew there, there and there. Now, get your top piece panel, place right side together with your middle panel, just like this.
So it's very important for us to use a sewing machine for this step when we put the panel for the color block together because if you use a so um, if you use your overlock machine, it's going to have a bulk which is going to be showing at the front. So we don't want that. That's why it's really important for us to use a straight stitch on the sewing machine. So next we're going to place the lining and the main fabric together. Place your lining and your main fabric right side together and pin on the side and then at the bottom. So if you find your main fabric is a little bit shorter, don't worry too much, you just have to stretch. Place right side together and pin on the side again. Now go ahead in your overlock machine and just, just stitch using a 0 0.5 seam allowance, which is already included on the pattern. So if you've been using my patterns, you know, I always add seam allowance. Now I'm going to mark 1.5 centimeters. It's just basically a guide where I want to stop to add my elastic. So I'm going to add the elastic on the side. This is optional. You don't have to add elastic if you don't want to. And then down the bottom. I like to add the elastic for my swimwear because it just makes my swimwear more stable. But it's optional to be honest, designers. And the other thing as well, designers, if you add the elastic in any of my swimwear, please do not stretch the elastic. When I make the pattern, I already um, reduced the measurement of the patterns, so it's meant to be used on lycra fabric, so you don't need to stretch the elastic at all. So now fold your string in half. and we're going to sew along. Now turn your string right side out. I'm using my loop toner. If you don't have a loop toner, you can use your safety pin. I 
can literally do this all day, designer. I love doing this. <laughs> Now measure how much you need for your neck stripes. So you need two. And I need the long one for your under bust. Now we need to open a hole to put our under bust string. Just get your seam ripper. And if you want to secure where you just open that hole, you can go in your sewing machine and just do a straight stitch. But because you use an um, overlocker, it's really, really hard for the stitch to undo. Now place your neck stripe through that hole. Do this for the other skinny top as well. We're going to stitch along now. Just go ahead in your sewing machine and do straight stitch. Make sure you back stitch just to make sure our stripes is nice and secure. Turn your bikini top right side out through that hole. Tuck in an excess fabric down the bottom and pin around one centimeter so we can make the channel for our string. Now go ahead in your sewing machine and just sew along. Make sure you backstage as well, designers. Now put your under bus string. Well done, designer. We did our color block triangle bikini top. And here's the final product. Make sure you put the notification bell on because on my next video, I'll show you how to make the bottom. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video.